Hello, this is Michael Butts with MB Health Insurance Agency here in Apton, Missouri. So just in another series of some topics we'd like to explain, virtually instead of a newsletter or emails, is this issue on life insurance. Why would somebody have it? Who should have it? How much? And just various topics with it. The, the summary of it, as I would say, is who needs life insurance? Uh, my answer would be, anybody of any age, young, old, or anywhere in between. Some reasons for uh, having life insurance policy begun on an infant or a young child simply would be for protection of their insurability. They don't need life insurance in the context if they should uh, have died. It's not like a major financial problem for the family, but through the years, their health may change. They may have a medical condition, they may join the military, they may come in some various occupation that makes them uninsurable when they get older. So having a life insurance policy begun on a child is not a bad idea. Dominantly, life insurance is needed for, I'd say for young parents uh, who have a mortgage or have children. Uh, so those are very key times when you would have life insurance. The significance of life insurance at that point is to have the amount to replace one's income. Do not necessarily gear life insurance to covering a debt or I need money for college or the traditional things. It's really, you've lost that income. So we want to replace life insurance, use life insurance to replace that income for a number of years. And I would replace it on a minimum of five years and anywhere as much as 10 years. So really, seven to eight times your annual income is about how much life insurance one should have. Then finally, as I mentioned, why would I need life insurance when my children are grown? Hopefully we've been responsible and paid off the house. Why do I need life insurance when I'm 70 years of age or 80 years of age or 90 years of age? Well, that would be because of a various uh, a series of factors. Number one being long-term care health costs. So what does life insurance have to do with long-term care? Some policies they, they have some riders that can be available, but dominantly what you may do for long-term care is to use current assets to pay for it. And then the life insurance replenishes those assets that had to be spent. So if I needed long-term care, my wife needed to spend $100,000, $200,000 on my care out of our IRA, now my $200,000 life insurance has put that money back to my wife for her life, uh, for her provisions when she gets older. So just the long-term care episode and taxes and financial plannings. But Young, old, or anywhere in between, life insurance has different needs and purposes, but it's needed. Call our agency, email, let us know how we can help at mbhealth.com.